Hello everyone, because you want x to look like Maria Sharapova rather than either of the Williams brothers, I've created x plane In this episode I'll be covering the custom scenery folder and teaching you how to use it. The custom scenery folder is located in your main x directory. When you first open the folder you'll find the airports you get with the sim and the scenery packs INI file. If you don't want to be constantly re-downloading the original and global airports, it's important that you leave these folders alone. As you move add-on scenery in and out of the sim, you will be continuously messing with the scenery packs.ini file. A basic understanding of this file and how it works is vital to successfully adding and modding scenery. All you really need to know is how the file structure determines hierarchy. Items at the top of the file will have the highest priority and will appear on top of items at the bottom. That's why it's vital to have airports at the top of the file. This is how the file looks out of the box, so I'll come back to it later on when I've added some scenery and demonstrate how it works. Because you're not going to use all of your scenery all of the time, I recommend you create a folder you can swap scenery in and out of quite quickly. So its contents are not loaded with your regular scenery, name the folder with a series of zeros, underscore and disabled in caps. Here's a basic overview of the scenery types and how to order them. First we have HD mesh and photo sceneries, these should be placed with the lowest priority. Because X-Plane organizes scenery alphabetically, place a double Z at the start of this type of folder name. Overlay files must sit above the HD mesh and photo sceneries, but below the original and global airports. Library folders are a little different, they're generally catalogues of images and objects used by scenery packs and as such they can be placed anywhere. Airport folders must sit at the top. Give downloaded airports the prefix AA, but as a general rule do not alter pre-existing ones. With introductions out of the way, let's get the panties off and down to business. First here are the sources. I'm using the master list of libraries and a Dublin scenery pack. I downloaded quite a few from the master list, as it's always useful to have the main library packs on hand. Make sure you download all the libraries required for the scenery pack you're using. After downloading and unzipping the libraries, I paste them into the folder. I then paste in the photo scenery and overlay folders. Note the title of the photo scenery beginning with ZZ. Finally, we add our scenery pack and delete the scenery pack's INI file. We then start and instantly shut down X-Plane. This generates a new scenery packs INI file and saves messing with the file. Every time you make a change to your scenery, do this instead of trying to edit the file. Now let's look at the results. As you can see, with a little bit of effort, you can make X-Plane look like the lady of your dreams rather than the non-passing penis owner of your nightmares. Next time I'll be shedding a little light on ortho for X-Plane. Until then, I thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.